Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to update the firmware on some XL320 using a 9C OpenSIM 904C. So you can see that the battery the C904 are connected. The uh, XL Dynamics Bus are connected to each of the XL320. They're very important on the communication port down here. I'm connecting an LN101 to it. So I'm going to stop here so that I can get a chance to connect my LN101 to the PC and I will be back. So I got my LN101 connected to the communication port CM904 now, and it's done through my COM7. Oh, excuse me. There go. Oh, and then make sure I have it turned on. Okay, so everything turned on. And you can see that uh, you can come to seven here, even if you choose Dynamic 2.0 and start searching, you're not going to get anything. The Dynamics of Wizards right now is not fully functional for uh, a CM904C version yet. So the only thing you can do is we can go to this, disconnect that, you can go to this option, say that we want to do firmware update using OpenCM904. Click on that. This come up. Click next. Make sure you do the right com port for me, com seven. Click on search. It found it. Good news. We click on next. And then what it does is load up the XL320 up to version one, which is 30K or something by it. So it loaded up onto XM01. It loaded the actual firmware for each of the XL320 also, version 27 currently of this video. Next. Now it's activa activating that updater software and it's searching. Okay, it found two of them. It's one ID5 and one ID13, and it's updating one by one. So I'm updating five now. You notice down here the red light come on. Then this one red light come on because it's updating this one right now. Okay. Okay. Success. That's what on both of them. That's what we want to see. So it's done. Click next. It's also updating the firmware on the 904 to version 8, which happened to be the current one right now, too. So everything is done. Okay. Essentially, if you use this uh, option, you can update the firmware of the XL320, also of the opponent's uh, CM904C for now. Once you've done that, let's see if we can connect them in or not. Aha! The one everything is updated good. You see now that we can connect them to the Demixo widget. You notice it connect here at the COM7 at 57 point something PPS. ID200 unknown, that's the CM904 control itself. And then you see the other one, 5 and 13. Like, for example, you can have that and check. Here we move the goal position. You see that they will move. Both of them will move one at a time. OK, so they will work. Let me send to all of them there now. And so that's it. Hello everyone, this is a tutorial for to use uh, how to use uh, R Plus Manager version 2 with the OpenCM904C here. And I have an infrared sensor hooked up to uh, channel 1, port 1. And then I'm using a BT210 there. So let's turn it on. 
So uh, let's choose the right controller. Click OK. Uh, click OK. So as we're just going to use normally, so we're just going to go update and test. And let's see the connect. I have problem five. We're good. We're going in. So you check that the current controller is 16 and the latest version is 16, so we're good. But you happen to have a, an older current version, and then it will detect it, and then it will uh, update the firmware for you automatically. Uh, it also see all the uh, actuator that I'm using. Let me zoom out a little bit. So you see I have uh, XL320 there. So they're on uh, 1 and 2 for ID. And you can see that uh, they have the latest version also, so everything is fine. Okay, if not, uh, the manager will detect it and then it will update the firmware of your Dynamics also. Click on next. And then here we see. So you see everything here. Like for example, I have an NR sensor on port 1. So you can see if I approach my little white block, you see the AR sensor changes and so forth. So we're looking good here. So let's get out of this. And let's say we want to do firmware recovery. And let me get back. We can do that from here. So let's say we want to do firmware recovery. What it does is, uh, well, let's see, right? Well, not the maximum zoom. Let's see, I can zoom in some more. You may see this little button here, and you have to press it on while you're turning the power on. So I'm turning the power off. And I've you with <laughs> so as you can see okay it's on now oh here we go so when it's on and the push and the push you see this the other LED will show up It'll be on now we can do firmware recovery next choose it and we just did all this procedure here, but you could wait until this spot here to do my uh, turning on the, the power with while pushing on the little button too. That works also. So we'll go next, com five again. Let's see connect. Okay, it see it, it found the bootloader, everything's good. And it just shows that it's gonna install version 16, which is the current one. Okay. So 100% finished, successful, that's what we want to see. And then from then on, you just going to go through the normal connection to see the manager menu and see all your dynamics all. Okay.